Hi, hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the best way to wear the 8511 3M N95 mask with the valve. Because there's a valve here, as we talked about it before, you have to uh, make sure you have another layer on the outside or inside. I have a pack of uh, medical supply from Taiwan and this is a medical grade surgical mask. So after a lot of um, research in my last video, I told people to wear it underneath the 3M and 95 mask with a valve. However, I think in this uh, comment down there in the previous video and also with the um, more research on how you should uh, prevent others from getting uh, exposed. Also from more uh, recent articles, they are banning the mask with valve. So the main reason why I changed to wearing the another layer of mask on top of it is mainly because of the two reasons. First, it makes it more apparent for people to know that you are actually not wearing a mask with the valve. And secondly, it actually provides a better seal because as you can see here, there is a lot of um, surface that needs to be touched in order to make the, the seal. Like that. There's a lot of surface that needs to be touched. So you don't want to wear another layer underneath it because it might create a gap on the side. Okay, so this, uh, let's do it. Let me show you guys how it should be done. Okay, hold the rubber band like this first. Make sure you have a tight fit on the N95 first. And check the side. Make sure all the seals are intact. And then press down this pin on your nose. And then from there, we have another layer of surgical mask, just like that. Open it up and pin it on. And if you have a mirror next to you, check all the corner. And now you're good to go. There you go. This is the right way and most convenient way. And when you are done with the mask, so when you're not sure if it's contaminated here or not, uh, you should probably throw it away and wear a new one next time. However, if you are sure that it's, there's nothing wrong with it, when you take it down, you should hang it somewhere, prevent any type of a contact with the outside of the mask. And take off this one. And place on another place. And in the past weekend, I also compiled a more comprehensive list of uh, what type of a uh, mask and their e efficiency in preventing um, bacteria spread. spread. And there, and there are different standards of uh, preventing spread of diseases. So please feel free to watch all the way to the end so you can see the summary of the comparison of different medical grade uh, masks. And if, if you want, you can also feel free to download these um, photos in the description below. The other thing we want to cover is um, sometimes, you know, when you buy this kind of mask, it might be a little bit too, too big. So there's a quick tip here is that you can um, actually make a small knot, depending on how tight it is. You can feel here. Maybe just a little bit tighter would be nice, especially if you're going out to jog with the mask on. So you can easily make a small knot here, just like that. 
make it small and adjustable just like that you can make it much more comfortable and make sure, making sure that the, there is a tight seal around the side of your cheek see just like this always check if you have a mirror check the nose check the side and the bottom part left and right okay as promised this is a summary page as you can see here the n95 mask without the valve is the best for both yourself and people around you i didn't put out the masks that are more strict than the 95 such as N99 or N100 because those masks are quite hard to find and also hard to breathe and plus they're super expensive. As a recommendation we should at least wear a medical grade mask when we go out. The cloth masks are simply not great enough. It was recommended by CDC mainly because medical grade masks were in shortage so they wanted to prioritize those medical masks for the healthcare worker to wear first. Please feel free to check out the real-time list in the Google Sheet link below. I'm living in California. I know there is a peak right now. As we work together closer and be more careful, I'm sure the number will go down. So thank you so much. Please um, subscribe, like, or comment on the video. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Bye-bye. Hope you guys stay safe and healthy with your friends and family. Bye-bye. Two layers of gloves and also two layers of mask and the eye goggle when I go out. I'm checking if my masks are pretty right and also the goggle before I go into the store. For the baby, go back to the car. Every time I come out now, I still feel very scared. Pretty crazy. So many sad stories. <clears throat> very safe and sorry. Right now we're back in the car. Get some alcohol, wipe. Okay, somebody waiting for my spot. So there we go. Okay. It's actually quite hard to breathe with um, a 95, 35, 11, and also another surgical mask on top of it. But you should still do that and keep your outside exposure to the minimum so in this way you can keep yourself and also the people around you safe thank you so much for watching hope everybody is healthy and safe and sound at home enjoy your christmas and have a great new year's